Welcome back to 9446 Network with another diecast review. And today, we're going to be looking at freaking Kevin Harvick's 2021 Bush Non-Alcoholic Ford Mustang, guys. Very interesting. It's a Ford Mustang diecast. And we just did a Ford Mustang diecast review of the Cole Custer car, so you can check that one out because it is indeed still available on the channel. So we're going to take a look at this die cast here. This is the first alcoholic and wow, <laughs> kind of controversial and um, contradicting because this is the non-alcoholic, but still an alcoholic car because it's still on a base. So technically the first alcoholic die cast to be reviewed on the channel. This is the Bush non-alcoholic win, but it's still alcohol. Still no getting around that. Uh, Ford Mustang, and this die cast, this is an interesting pickup for me, I'm not a Kevin Harvick fan, but I wanted to get a secondary Kevin Harvick car, I was kind of getting tired of the other cars, it was Mobile One and, and uh, Hunt Brothers, kept running the same paint schemes, and I was like, you know what, the metallic one that they came out of Kevin Harvick, the next gen car is going to look just like that one, Except it's on the next gen. However, I'm not sure about this one. And I've never gotten the Bush uh, non-alcoholic car before. Um, so, to have this die cast, it's pretty interesting. Um, it's a new one. Uh, I never had ever. Even from 2018 or 2017. Just never got around to picking up this die cast uh, for Kevin Harvick here. So, we're going to get this one out of the box. Uh, we're going to get this one off the base um, for, before the races. So you're not, you're gonna see it on the base in this video, but it's eventually not gonna be on this thing for much longer, uh, as I have my own way of getting them off the base. But today we're just gonna review it with the base on, because I have removed bases uh, from die cast before, and I will do the same for this when I get around to it. Uh, this is a pretty interesting car, like I said. It's a different type of Kevin Harvick die cast. It's non, quote unquote, non-alcoholic, but yet these guys still put it on a base because it's still alcohol. So we're gonna get to the die cast review. It's a pretty funny die cast in the fact that it says not alcohol, but it's still alcohol. You know, there's no getting around it. There's just no getting around it. And I have no idea if I'm gonna get demonetized for showing a Bush beer car. And I, don't, I really don't know if the YouTube algorithm is going to mark this as a kid's video, uh, considering the alcoholic sponsorship. Um, so here is the number four Mustang, Stuart Haas Racing. Um, Bush N through A, non-alcoholic, brewed in the USA. Anheuser-Busch. And it's got St. Louis uh, MO or whatever that is, I don't know. Um... Sunoco, Goodyear, NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR race car, Kevin Harvick's name, the number four, uh, Ford, Mobile One, Haas, Hunt Brothers, and Rush Truck Centers. We have the Bush Beer, no, Bush Non-Alcoholic Dot Win bottle right there, and then the Dot Win uh, sign right there. Got a bunch of paint chips on the side of the spoiler right there. whoop de frickin' do. Uh, we got Hunt Brothers, uh, Jimmy John's, Haas right there, Mobile One. Mobile One, Michigan license plate Ford with the 2021 20, registration uh, sticker. Four, uh, Bush and Thruwe. Bush and Thruwe, Harvick, and we got a piece of sticker in there. What in the hell? What, what even is that? What the hell is this? I don't know what that is right there, but that is definitely something inside of the car. Harvick, Mobile One right there. Time for the paint scheme. Uh, it's sprayed in that ice blue color. The ice blue color. And it's got the black outline, red number fill in, and white. Um, that's the white number fill and the red and black outline to it. It's going to be like that all across the car. Uh, front, back, and the sides. And for the paint scheme itself, look, I've never reviewed the full-on Bush car before. Um, so I'm going to do it for you guys with, with, but with this paint scheme. It's pretty much got like a backdrop. It's like a portrait of it, what looks like a forest. And I'm not sure if that's water that they're showing right there. All that textury stuff right there. It's water. I'm not really sure what that is. It's probably land or something like that. And it goes all across the hood. Starts out with the black splitter. Goes across the side with the mountains and the trees. Uh, 
and it kind of gets cut off by this design that they got going on. And this is the interesting part of this paint scheme that I kind of found um, unique about it when I first saw this car in 2018, is the red and white striping design. It looks like a NASCAR heat template, but of course you have the detailed backdrops. They kept this car and they just threw this on here, which looks interesting. The bottle looks just like that, even have the bottle on the car. And of course you have the red going on from the side swooshing all the way to the back of the deck lid with the white which has a black outline to it also wrapping around uh, so it pretty much goes all around just wraps like that as you can see and it's a pretty interesting uh, red this is like a pinkish reddish color I know the cameras pick it up as regular but in real life this is an interesting red and it looks like we got a little uh, chip right oh it's coming off wow what is that I still don't understand. It's, it was over here, too. Probably came from the base. I glue from the base on there, because you can see that. This is on a base. Probably how that got on there. Oh, that... Those weird stuff that's in the car. Uh, but the ice blue of this car, it's really interesting. I know the metallic one was the Daytona 500 car. But like I said, that's going to be on the next-gen mold. So no need to worry about not getting it. Uh, there's another little... Uh, decal tear right there look at that look at that right there a little fold right there that's what it is man uh what would i do to change this paint scheme uh probably paint the wheels red <laughs> with the white lip that would look really good with this car it would match uh, it would match the stripe design it would really look cool if they did that really wish they would paint the wheels i'm not bringing this up in every video but you know what i i darn it i want colored wheels back I mean, they, they, there's so many of these paint schemes that look awesome with colored wheels. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys a 360 view. Um, it's kind of a short video. I know a lot of people have seen the Bush paint schemes before, but this one is the non-alcoholic, which makes it unique. You know, non-alcoholic, but it's, it's still an alcoholic die cast for Kevin Harvick. Uh, wow, this is crazy um, that they're able to bring this back. Um, it's a part of their promotion, you know, they, this is one of the things that they do over there at Bush. Uh, does it mean it's gonna, st oh wow, look at that, I, just, I forgot to point that out, but look at the A, the S and the C are all folded up and crushed into each other. Yikes, um, I'm just gonna censor that, uh, but anyways, that is the Kevin Harvick, uh, non-alcoholic Bush car, Ford Mustang. I know it's kind of a short, uh, video for Kevin Harvick fans, you know, that was, that, I'm gonna let you guys know that was totally unintentional. Uh, so thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we're gonna see you guys in the next Diecast Review.